views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This show's audio was via a Skype call. Welcome to Angel Healing House Radio. My name is Claire Candy Hoff. Through my business, Angel Healing House, which can be found at angelhealinghouse.com. I'm a writer and an author, an international radio host, a Reiki master teacher, and an angel practitioner. My inspirational books entitled Angels of Faith and One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness and my autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, are based on my recollections of our life in spirit, and they help us to remember our divine, eternal natures. Through Angel Healing House, I help people to let go of sadness, anger, bitterness, resentment, and regret that has kept them locked in the prison of the past, and I help them to let go of worry, stress, and control which has kept them focused on an imagined future. And once they are no longer living in the past or the future, they can start to live in the present moment, which is the only place that they can experience synchronicities, miracles, and magic. As an angel practitioner, I help people to see their lives from a higher perspective with the help of an extraordinary group of angels who call themselves the Posse of Angels. Just like my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, I'm very excited to take some of your calls for that free angel advice. You can call into the show on 1-800-930-2819. But before we get to those callers, welcome everyone to Angel Healing House Radio with me, Claire Candy Hoff, and happy 2019 to everyone. I wish you a year which is filled with health and love, peace, joy, laughter, passionate creating, and joy. You know, I always get excited going into a brand new year as there is a freshness, a newness, a clean slate that has never been written on before. And I wonder, what will this new year bring? Well, the posse of angels, my angelic family, well, they can see further down the track than I can, but they are keeping silent as to what will happen as they do wish for us to be excited and to just stay in the present moment. As always, they tell me that they have my back, not to worry, they have my back, my sides, they are beneath me, they're above me, in fact, They have everything covered, and I guess that is why they have named themselves the Posse of Angels. But they do wish to give us all some heaven-sent suggestions on how we can have a year to remember, and they've entitled the show, How to Create an Amazing 2019. You know, with many taking down their holiday decorations and life returning to some sort of normalcy, whatever that is, our eyes turn to the upcoming 364 days of infinite possibilities that will be determined by our energetic frequencies that we radiate out to the world through our thoughts, the words that we utter, and the feelings that we hold in our hearts. If you are like most who are living an awakened life, that you have honed your ability to consciously focus your energies to create your desired reality. So let's take a look at 2019 from a few different angles. 
the Posse of Angels is sharing with us that numerologically, 2019, when we take two and we add it to the one and nine, that equals 12, which the composite number 12, when it's reduced, is the number three. And in astrology, it is associated with the planet Jupiter. Now, the planet Jupiter is helps us to reveal how best to face this year's challenges. The planet Jupiter is about expansion. It's about luck. It's about fortuitous opportunities and connections. It's about wealth and opening up to the richness of possibilities to help with the fulfillment of our wishes. What would help us most of all is slowing down in 2019 because we've done the hard work and doing our best to engage in disciplines that link the mind, the heart, the body, and the spirit. Things like yoga, things like qigong, things like reiki. These are all helpful this year to reflect and make sure that the demands of our lives do not exceed our capacity to withstand them because life for many of us who are awakened and conscious will begin to get much accelerated in 2019 as those fulfillments of our desires start to, um, start to show up for us. They, they will start to manifest. Now, also, in Chinese astrology, the year is the year of the earth pig, a year of positive energies, a year of benevolence, goodwill, and luck. Success should come in all spheres of our lives. Great for making money. Financial investments are rewarding. There's a feeling of lightness and abundance permeates our realities, especially if we have done the work. We should, however, beware of not relying too heavily heavily on our good fortune that uh, possibly we would start to mismanage our resources and incur financial losses. This year, it's really important to keep our books. And once that money comes in, clear your debts, which should be our number one priority. 2019 is a year to free ourselves from, and finally they're saying, free ourselves from toxic relationships. Our social life should be particularly warm and enriching. We make ourselves selfish, selflessly available to others for the highest good with modesty and flexibility. Love does blossom in 2019 for many, and single people are likely to attract a very meaningful relationship. Our intellectual and spiritual needs are enhanced. There's learning and teaching. Philanthropy are all favored, as is writing. So writing uh, the things that you've written uh, in order to be published, in order to go out to a much wider audience. We are organized in the pursuit of knowledge. Our motivation to move forward constructively is enhanced this whole entire year. Now, to be successful, projects require dialogue. They require communication. Now, an, an attention to, uh, um, to the benefits of not only the individuals. Up, in that, up until now, many of us have only been working as individuals, but with 2019, the collaborative efforts of the collective come to the fore as, um, as we will bring to ourselves the creation of situations where all would win. In fact, the Posse of Angels are saying there will be lots of collaborations Lots of win-win situations. There'll be an atmosphere of abundance, an atmosphere of communications, give and take. Generosity will permeate our work environments. 2019 is a great year to lighten our workload, take a much-needed break. The periods of joy and relaxation that we give ourselves uh, help us to reflect on the past 11 years. We have finished a 12-year cycle, 
before the next new 12-year cycle will begin in 2019 with the year of the metal rat. In 2019, we may feel called to change lifestyles. This is a whole new cycle for many, many people. And you may change your lifestyle entirely. You may move uh, locations, not only in your town, in into a different state. Uh, you may choose to move overseas. You may discover and tap into talents and resources which you were unaware of before that you possessed. All this adds up to a much easier, happier, and more positive year. And uh, once again, the posse of angels, here they come in. They're assuring us that 2019 will be like no other year because we are different and because we now have the clarity for some, this clarity and courage to create our lives was a very hard-won emotional battle that saw many people triumphing over challenges and struggles and arriving at who we authentically are. You know, in many ways, 2018 was an enormous year as so many freed um, themselves from relationships and associations that were not honoring and respectful. And while the honoring of our lives freed us up in so many ways, many of us are still unsure as to where this new year will take us. The Posse of Angels wishes for us to know that 2019 will unfold and take us precisely where our intentions, our prayers, visualizations, desires, and hopes are focused on. They wish to remind us that one of the most important areas that many of us brought into alignment in 2018 was the ability to only live in the nanosecond of the now. By living only in the present moment, which is filled with infinite potential and possibilities, many consciously dropped expectations and attachments as to what our lives should or had to look like, and instead we opened up to the magic and the miracles of co-creating with God and the angels as to how to be of best service. They're reminding us that the way that we can be of best service is to surrender and allow for the highest growth and expansion of our soul, no matter what and where it takes us, and no matter what it asks for us, for these are all God-driven. You know, I was interviewed on a radio program, which is called Life in the Hologram, and one of the hosts asked me, with so much going on in the world, there's so much derision, there's so much disharmony that seems to go counter to one's focus on love and living in peace and unity. How can one hold on to one's faith and hope in humanity when we see such immense contrast being played out in our world? Well, firstly, <clears throat> excuse me, the Posse of Angels wishes to remind us all that much of what is presented to us on the news and media, choose to um, choose what what it, uh, the the news and the media choose to show us and perpetuate is there not to keep us informed, but to drive an agenda of manipulation, of fear and control. By doing so, their agenda is to keep us focused on what is negative and of lower energetic frequencies. Now, secondly, disclosures and revelations that have, re um, have received much press of sexual harassment has always been there. It was just lying right beneath the surface, and it is only now able to be revealed because it is we that the awakened collective that has now elevated our consciousness to such a high degree of light that many dark agendas can now be perceived 
in order to be disclosed. And with this being a number three year, now upon us, these revelations will become even more prevalent and more disconcerting in their dark agenda. I replied in my interview that much like an illness that must escalate to reach a dangerous fever pitch, to burn up the sickness in a body, to bring it to health again, these dark deeds all must be disclosed, acknowledged, and dealt with in order for them to be dismantled. Now, other examples of dark agendas are things like chemtrails, poisoning our air, poisonous GMOs, high doses of mercury and thimerosal in vaccines, the hiding of and constant denial of the presence and the information suppression of the existence of our intergalactic brothers and sisters. How about manufactured wars for oil, greed, and profit, putting the poisonous fluoride in our water, and of course, the ludicrously controlled manufactured media, these are all uh, just a few of the things that come under the umbrella of very dark deeds, which were put into play to control, in, in, uh, to influence, and manipulate people. You know, I read an article from the doctor who created what he called the made-up disease of attention deficit with hyperactivity to then open up the market for millions of children to be put on Ritalin and how the Food and Drug Administration passed NutraSweet or Aspartame way back in 1985, even though the research showed that it was poisonous It broke down the immune system and it caused cancers. And while these lies for profit and greed make some very, very angry, it brings us knowledge. And knowledge and information gives us power to make very, very different choices. The power comes not in a destructive manner, but in the ability to see clearly that we are now strong enough to see the lies that have been perpetuated on our planet and the power to still hold our vision for a humane world of peace, unity, light, forgiveness, and love. We are at the threshold where we now realize that we we are all part of a greater cause and it's time to be of service to humanity. And the energies of this year are helping us to step into being a best service to provide enlightened information for others who are shifting. They are just shifting now and they're consciously waking up. As we watch so many of the old institutions breaking down, our illusions of how we thought we were being cared for and looked after by those in authority and power It was just not the case. And it is with this new set of eyes and clarity, this new perception that we are becoming awake. And it is each individual who will determine what can stay the same and what must change for the betterment of everyone in the world and not just the privileged few. Now, the Posse of Angels is urging all of us to see these disclosures and revelations as blessings, for they are finally being forced out of hiding by the massive amount of light on our planet for them to be seen. And now that they're being seen, they can be acknowledged so that they can be dismantled and transmuted into love. The Posse of Angels are suggesting that when we are presented with these horrible revelations, please, they're saying, do not get angry, but bless them for showing us the deep sickness that has been perpetuated on planet Earth, for it is this great contrast that has and will awaken our world. In this way, we can acknowledge the contrast, we can thank it for showing up, we can bless it and finally heal it in order for it to be released. 
you know, I've often said that once each and every one of us starts to live from our divine, eternal natures and co-creates with God's source, not only for the greatest good of our souls, but for the greatest good of all concerned, then life will flow with ease and grace. In addition, it is so very important for all of us to take responsibility and accountability for our lives and to no longer tolerate anything that is not in divine alignment with the greatest good of ourselves, for others, and for our survival as a planet. These will most determine your destiny and what you choose to create and manifest in 2019. Now, the Posse of Angels wishes to share with us that this year has the possibility of being our best year ever if we have the faith to believe that it will be so. For it is that faith that drives miracles to appear in our lives. And with this, let go of all expectations and attachments as to how you can be of best service to open up to limitless and miraculous ways for God and the angels to send you those magical connections and opportunities on how to serve. Many of us will be serving in very different ways in 2019. In fact, the more we keep relying on the outside world for us to determine what kind of 2019 we will experience, the more we will diminish our ability to manifest the world that we wish to live in. Now, the Posse of Angels is reminding us to keep our own counsel and let our faith be our fuel that drives us. Faith in a humane world. Faith in a loving and peaceful planet. Faith to always keep our eyes looking and striving for ways to live in kindness, harmony, and seek inclusion, not constantly seeing ourselves as divided and different from others, and certainly not looking for reasons to judge and to blame. Now, the Posse of Angels is sending us a special message um, to those caring and deeply caring individuals who have taken action to heal the planet. For instance, some people have established groups to rescue animals from kill uh, shelters. There are some people who knit hats and scarves for the homeless. Some seek sponsorships to bring clean water to impoverished villages around the globe. And others who have taken their technological knowledge and implemented renewable clean sources of energy to fuel our planet instead of relying on polluting fossil fuels and inventing ways to clean up the oceans. All of these things and more are changing the quality of millions of lives on the planet. It is at this deep grassroots level of concern, care, and compassion that we'll see these inspired actions spread like wildfire across our globe. Each of us has an integral puzzle piece of the planet contributing to the light. That's why you incarnated here at this moment in time. And for many in 2019, it will be our time to be more seen and publicly recognized for our efforts. And whether we call ourselves anything like baby boomers or indigos or crystals or millennials, if, even if we choose not to wear a title at all, we are all in this world together. And we need not look any further than our own doorstep to implement our God-given talents, our abilities, and gifts. And to our great capacity to be of service, to nurture and nourish a world of kindness, inclusion, peace, and love. With our hard-won clarity and our empowerment, our ability to discern and focus our intentions with our inspired actions, it is we who we have been waiting for. 
it is we who will create an absolutely unbelievable, miraculous 2019 that will have far-reaching effects in the years to come. And when I went to my animal spirit cards to choose an animal card to give us additional messages, I was amazed when Phoenix jumped out with a clean slate to be written on in 2019. The Phoenix is all about our freedom from suffering. And and not only our freedom from suffering, but the Phoenix is about rising from the ashes and being reborn and reincarnated. And whether you believe the Phoenix to be a real bird or a mythical being, it represents the the transformation of our past. And believe me, there was a lot to contend with with so many retrogrades getting us to delve even deeper into retro, uh, retrospection to review our lives. This past year, whatever we experienced in 2018 has now hopefully been transmuted and transformed. And if we're still struggling to bring certain relationships and other areas of our lives into alignment, Phoenix Energy is helping us to burn away impurities and is aiding us in changing, changing that which no longer serves us. Phoenix energy gives us the strength. It also gives us the courage to live consciously and not allow ourselves to be driven by our unconscious mind or our ego, our fears or our illusions. The Phoenix helps us to stop running away from who we are, it burns through everything, everything that we are not, as it heals and melts away our attachment to what has happened to us and what has happened in the past. In this way, it's the bird of karmic alignment as we have come full circle and we are now facing who we authentically are. This bird helps with stagnation, And our feeling of being stuck falls away into the ashes as a newfound lightness and clarity are allowed to emerge as we begin to see our true selves absolute with absolute clarity. So a great card that confirms all that we said about going into 2019 with clarity and having transformed so much, not only for ourselves individually, but we also did it for the planet. You have been listening to me, Claire Candy Hoff, on Angel Healing House Radio. Do remember that Angel Healing House Radio airs every week at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time here on Transformation Talk Radio. We are going to take a quick break, and when we come back, We'll take some of your calls for those free angel readings with myself and my wonderful angelic family, the Posse of Angels. So we'll see you soon. Take your own journey with the angels with Claire Candy Hoff's Heaven Sent Guided Angel Meditation CD. Letting go of concerns and living in the now. This beautiful CD walks listeners through practical exercises to help free them from the burdens, worries, and concerns of daily life. Walking a quarter of the way across the bridge, you see a bright emerald green light and sense a loving presence. This is Archangel Raphael's green healing energies, nourishing and revitalizing you. Take a moment now to bathe in this green healing light. Giving you much more than just relaxation and stress release, this wonderfully narrated CD provides vivid visualization, soothing and inspiring music, and an angel's choir that will bring you peace, clarity, and a newfound awareness. Visit angelhealinghouse.com today. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff angelic walk-in angel Ariel at angel healing house 
Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Hello, everyone. You're back with me, Claire Candy Hoff on Angel Healing House Radio. And once again, Happy New Year to everyone. May this 2019 bring you the fulfillment of your dreams and may you discover new, exciting, intriguing, enlightening, uplifting, inspiring new ways to be of service to our wonder, not only to yourself and others, to our beloved planet. Let's go to our first caller. We have Cheryl in Hollywood on the line. Cheryl, you're on the line with Claire Candy Hoff. How are you today? I'm good, Candy. How are you? I am very, very well. What's happening in your world? Um, I've had a lot going on this year. Um, My husband passed away, and I have three daughters. Um, I did want to say I got your books and um, they helped me phenomenally, like so much. They've really completely changed my perspective. And I did have my children um, read the children's books. And in a way, it made me happy. It's made me go from sad to, to happy. And to think if what in those books is true, like that he's really that happy now, just gives me a completely different perspective. So thank you so much. I knew, I knew when I, uh, when I met you, Cheryl, I knew that all I could hear was uh, it would be of the, of the highest benefit if she would read this because then your perspective, perception or perspective changes dramatically to understand that he's not gone. He is not gone. He just doesn't have a physical body. That The physicality is gone, but they, they're, our loved ones are as close as our next breath. And don't think of anyone who's crossed over as being up there somewhere because it's a parallel dimension that is as close as our next heartbeat and our next breath. And I'm so glad the children um, found such comfort in that, in the book, Angels of Faith, um, as it, it clearly touches people's hearts in that we do not die and that we are divine and eternal. So I'm so happy. Um, I almost don't have words. Like, I almost don't have words. I'm so happy. And it just, it, like, if it's true that they're that happy and it's that it's, I'm so happy for him, like beyond even words. And um, it really transformed me to read oh, it. Oh, I'd love, I'd love for you to, to send me a testimonial like that. That's wonderful. Thank I will. You. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much. That's a, that's, that's a beautiful, that's beautiful feedback from, from the books. You know, I must say that before we pull some cards for you, um, that uh, every time um, I've gotten the, or the, the, those across the veil have gotten in contact through me for somebody else, they all say the same thing. First of all, they say that they're happy. The second, that that they're doing what they love doing and they no longer have their physical, mental, emotional ailments anymore. You know, if somebody crosses Mm -hmm. over, if they're an an alcoholic or if they have cancer or if they're disabled, you know, like Helen Keller said, you know, my father's um, house has has, has many... Um, mansions or, you know, there are many, uh, many doors on the other side. She was not blind and, and deaf on the other side. Um, so they want that, they want us to know that all those physical ailments are gone. And without, without a word of a lie, they all want us to know that they're not dead. <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm not dead. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's, 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 especially for my kids to hear because they're they're still quite young and they just keep thinking it's a long life, you know, to live yeah. without them. But I, that's what I say. I was like, but he is still here, you know. Oh, it's, and it's, a, it's such a blessing. I'm so, so very happy for you, Cheryl, because yeah, now, now, now it's like this huge... Um, 
this huge tarpaulin or blanket that they're showing me has lifted and you will be able to not only hear messages more clearly from him, but, you know, your, your, uh, your little girl inside of you, your little girl lightness uh, of skippiness and wiggling and happiness, that's going to return. That's going to return if it has. If I, I feel like it is, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. yes. I, you know, I feel like it is. I've I've often yeah. I've often spoken on my radio show about my wiggle and uh, how the little girl inside me gets so excited and every time I go with that wiggle and that tingly feeling inside and the little girl is happy uh, then then miracles and rewards and all kinds of extraordinary things start to show up. So, did you have a um a specific question or we can just do a general read? The only thing I could think, like based on your books, and I do believe it was all part of God's plan and everything happened for a reason and it was all in the cause. But it's like, if that's the case, then I just feel like, you know, what next? Here I am on my own, you you know, like what next? Okay. (laughs) All right, a general read. Um, And I won't pull a card until I tell you what I just heard. You are never, you are never alone. And the more that you stop saying your, your job in 2019, Cheryl, is to say, I Mm. am never alone. I'm never alone. You have so much angelic help and spirit guides on the other side that never leave your side. They're always there. I'm just getting shivers. They always are there to protect and guide Mm. you, send you signs. So the more that you say, I am so abundant and I am never, ever, ever alone, the more you will feel inclusive and the more than you will draw people to yourself to, uh, to fulfill that, uh, I guess, self-fulfilling prophecy of never being alone. Because if you keep on saying alone, that you're alone, then you will be alone. I'm going to feel alone. Okay. I, that makes sense. Okay. Never, oh, okay. Never, 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 <laughs> never say that again. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go to the cards and see what comes out for our lovely Cheryl. Okay. The first card that comes for you, out for you is the Ten of Wands. Uh, this is traditionally the card of being burdened. And they're saying because it's a ten, you are now dropping this huge weight that you've been carrying. It's a weight of in some ways, it's a weight of shame. Some way, it's a it's a it's a weight of guilt, um, and you are dropping this. You are consciously and unconsciously okay. getting to the stage uh, now that you are dropping this in order to lighten your load. And in reading these okay. books, in reading the books, they are helping you to unload a lot of those feelings that you had to feel bad. You had to feel these things um, in order to keep Mm -hmm. the memory alive of, um, of the former, of, of your former husband um, or your your ex. Um, But now you don't have to do that anymore. You can unburden yourself. So that's a wonderful card to get. The next card coming out for you is the temperance card. The temperance card is the patience card. This is the card of nurturing and nourishing your soul. One of the greatest things that you you can do in order to manifest the fulfillment of your dreams, desires, and wishes is to really be kind to Cheryl. Be kind to who you are. (laughs) You know? I mean, it brings tears to my eyes. It's been a long ride. Yeah. 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 No, it's been a long, long road. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And they're saying, you've earned this. You are worthy and deserving (laughs) of nurturing and nourishing yourself. Do things that, uh, that really do, uh, are very kind and gentle and soft and nurturing to your soul. They don't have to even cost a lot of money. I mean, you know, with three, with three girls, I mean, I, you know, can imagine it's very, a few uh, few time, times between, you know, getting time for yourself, but do make time to even get out in nature, put your feet in the water. We live next to the ocean, you know, uh, um, you know, mm-hmm. bury, bury yourself in the beautiful sands, the quartz uh, crystals of the sands, 
take hikes in the mountain, whatever you can do in nature will nurture your soul. Okay. Okay. And then ne- the last card that comes out for you, oh my gosh, is the sun. The outcome is uh, it's yeah, okay. amazing, amazing sun card. And you got two, you got two one cards. You are in an absolute Mm -hmm. phase of transformation. Temperance is a five, which is about changes in your life happening. And 19 is the sun that uh, composites to a one. So it really is a new beginning for you in 2019. They're saying, dear beloved Cheryl, take to heart the spiritual, ancient spiritual messages that you read in the book and really start to live that and own it because you are so worthy and deserving of uh, just such an amazing, amazing life in which you are not alone and you do not have to keep replaying the past. So I really hope that's been helpful for you. Sometimes I feel guilty being happy. Does that make sense? It does make sense. You know? and, and they're saying that Maybe has, that's what I need to drop more. Yeah. That, that has got to end. Because the more that Mm -hmm. every time you feel guilty, every time you feel and guilty for what? Because if you're feeling guilty for something that happened in the past, do remember that if you found your way to calling into Angel Healing House and speaking to an angelic (laughs) walk-in, then you're not the same person that that manifested that person or those events happening to you. You have different cells, you have different perception, you've shifted, you're filled with absolute love and light now. So what you're doing is you're feeling guilty um, and bringing down your immune system rather than blessing. Okay, I guess it's more like he died and now I'm supposed to be happy? Like it just seems like a weird... No, you're not, you're not happy that he died. That's not it. But right. you don't... Okay. But you don't um, uh, really... Take, you don't take away your own happiness as a result of, okay. of an event or something that happened in the past. And you know what? If you do read those books, you'll understand that everyone plans their exit. Nobody dies too early. Yes. Nobody dies too mm-hmm. late. And so why would you feel guilty for somebody contracting mm-hmm. in their True. book of life a certain exit point? And, you know, sometimes we can't see not sometimes, all the time, we can't see because of our humanness uh, why somebody would have contracted to leave three young daughters and, and a beautiful wife and, a, and, a, and a, a wonderful life, why they would have contracted it. But it goes so deep. And it's not until we're standing there in mm-hmm. front of the, the, mm-hmm. the Thera Council going over that contract in our book of life, uh, can we truly see all the ramifications of how that that their death touched so many lives um, and uh, and they do and we exit not only for ourselves individually but for many many other souls yes mm-hmm. oh candy thank you <laughs> <laughs> I love you you're so amazing I love you too Cheryl thank you so much for for karmically coming back into my life and um and 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 don't be a stranger on angel healing house radio we would love i, hope I, I won't i won't okay love, you for love love to you, you and Candy. your beautiful daughters take care okay you too bye-bye Bye. thank you so much cheryl and uh and as she said uh the books angels of faith one True Home, Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness, and I Am an Angelic Walk-In, the autobiography of myself, Angel Ariel. They all help to bring the spiritual knowledge uh, and reawaken that in people so that they can very, they can, they can see it, not just from a theory point of view, they can practically start to live it. Let's go to our next caller. We have Catherine in Los Angeles. Catherine, you're on the line with Claire Candy Hoff. How are you? I'm well, Candy. How are you? I'm very, very well. What's happening in your world? Well, I just filed for divorce. Okay. Um, after many years, I about eight months ago, I went back to work. Mm-hmm. It was just a contract assignment. 
and I had a little break this week and filed for divorce. I do have twin daughters that are 12 Mm -hmm. and I really am just wanting to look to the future to see, you know, I'm, I'm ready to build my career again, to take care of myself and and my daughters. And I just kind of want to see how that's going to play out. Mm -hmm. Um, Wonderful. that's, That's my big concern, I guess. Well, while I'm shuffling the cards, the vision that the posse of angels are showing me is they're saying, and don't get this wrong, because everyone actions what they need to action, uh, you know, um, when they're ready. But your angels are saying, and the posse of angels are saying, finally, they're they're saying, (laughs) (laughs) they're going, phew, they're saying, this has occurred to you many, many, many times over the years that you were not being honored, you were not being respected, and you deep down felt guilty uh, about actioning some, something. Um, and uh, and you, you said, well, I'll just hang in there. I'll hang in there. I'll hang in there. And, uh, you know, we have free will. But they're saying now that you've made this decision, they want you to make sure that you make all decisions by saying, is this honoring to me? Is this respectful for me? Um, am I worthy? Uh, you know that you're worthy and deserving, but make sure that everything now is honorable and respectful. And they're saying, allow things to unfold in their divine timing. Uh, don't put pressure on yourself. Don't put pressure on yourself. Just like, just like we would plant a garden And we want to eat the vegetables. So we would go out and pull on the tops of the carrots, you know, for them to grow quicker. And what happens is the carrots come out and they're deformed and they're not yet ready for us to eat. They want you to allow uh, life to unfold in its most natural, organic state. And they want you to be present in every single moment and enjoy what comes along. Don't wish anything to be further along than it is because it's the growth of our soul. It's the growth of our soul that we're here for. And they're saying, allow, allow, practice the art of allowance. You've made the big choices. (laughs) You've made the big choices and the big decisions. So let's go to this cards and see what messages come out. Um, 2019 is going to be a year of growth. It's going to be a year of expansion. I do believe it's going to be a year of ease and grace for you because you have made the big decisions. Let's see. The first card that's coming out for you actually is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is the movement card. So when you asked about your career, um, they want you to do an exercise and so many people over my past 15 years, wow, doing this with clients in Angel Healing House, um, they want you to sit quietly and they want you to imagine, imagine uh, and visualize uh, the life that you want, but they want you to say thank you. Thank you for my amazing job and my um, this amazing opportunity that gets me to be financially remunerated well. It, I work with like-minded people in a beautiful location. I get to be uh, paid for using my gifts and my talents and my abilities and drop down to your heart and feel what it feels like for you to have manifested. And by saying thank you, you affirm to the universe that it's already yours. You don't have to wait for it. You just have to allow it to come in the most gracious and easy divine timing. So you will be moving in a lot of different areas, especially in your career and moving emotionally Uh, well ahead of where you are now. Uh, The next uh, card that comes out for you is the Page of Pentacles. Uh, This is the card of messages coming in. The more you do this, the more then you'll bring in the messages of of, uh, abundance coming in your life in all ways, shapes, or form. So once you affirm this, then the messages come in to comply with the fulfillment of your wishes. And the very next card that comes out for you is the seven of, uh, the seven of wands. And this is a card about, well, I say it's the card of rising above the competition, 
uh, the, but there is no competition. Mm-hmm. This is the card of being right. seen and being recognized. This is also the card of strength and courage. Strength and courage wow. to do what is in your heart. Don't you let anybody, Catherine, ever, ever tell you what to do or what's right for you or what you should do. You've learned your lessons really well. And now you have the courage and the bravery in order to step forth and take inspired action to your dreams. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Oh, my gosh. So helpful. Thank you so, so much. (laughs) You're so very welcome. I feel it. I'm so grateful. I just thank you for for, uh, answering my call today. I, I just loved it. Oh, isn't that wonderful? So don't be a stranger to Angel Healing House. We'd love to hear from you again. Have an absolutely blessed 2019. Take care. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. And we have one more caller on the line. Let's go to our caller, David, in Los Angeles. David, you're on the line with Claire Candy Hoff. How are you? Good. Hi, Candy. Hi, David. And how are you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad you're good. Yeah. So, so, oh my gosh, why the Posse of Angels showing me something with a stamp on it that says completed or final, finalized, complete? What's that all about? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, see, something to do, something to do with about. writing, something to do with writing. Well, yeah, I mean, I, we, me and my co-writer, John, finished our feature film script like a couple weeks ago, and then we submitted it and haven't heard anything back from anybody. Okay. <laughs> so you're just kind of like, well, okay, all right. <laughs> okay. But, the, you know, we, you, yeah. you submitted it and crickets, right? <laughs> Well, crickets, yeah, and you know, we did submit it. To, there is a uh, producer that we did send it to, and then, uh, if I'm gonna be transparent, last night she connected with me and said she was printing the script out. Uh-huh. And she was, um, probably, I would imagine she's gonna probably start reading it over the okay. next couple of days. Okay, so. remember too that we are still in a Mercury retrograde. It doesn't uh, physically start to move forward until tomorrow, but it gets out of its big. A big ass, if you want to call it big ass shadow, uh, for a week or ten days, even even um, two weeks afterwards, it could be having an effect on our lives. The planet of communication getting out of its retrograde phase in order to move forward. Okay, so um, right. so don't put so so much pressure on yourself. No, put more put more emphasis on we did it. You know, um, you know, we were good stewards of doing what spirit asked us to do. And now we will reap the benefit in 2019. Keep opening yourself up to amazing possibilities that are going to be and limitless possibilities that are going to come in for your script to be made into a movie. Um, So uh, start uh, visualizing your wish list. Um, what car are you going to buy? You know, what mansion are you going to buy? I don't know. What you know, what cause are you going to donate to? You know, it's like, uh, these things, these things are all within our, um, our capacity to visualize and hold in our hearts. Um, and the posse of angels is saying to you in particular, David, you deserve this. You deserve this. You've given to, oh my gosh, I'm getting so many shivers. You've given to so many people over so many years and the tide has been going out like a tsunami it's going out you've given you've given you've given you've given you've given and when it comes pouring back in on you it's just going to be i think uh, i feel it's going to be overwhelming um and uh just be just be grateful and appreciative because you deserve this you deserve this, um, and it doesn't, and it, and these things are not going to come to you by happen chance, and and randomly coincidental. Um, open your heart to receive all of these things. Uh, the first card that's coming out for you is the chariot. The chariot is the movement card. 
but more than movement, because there are a lot of movement cards in the deck. The chariot is about being recognized. Recognized, promoted, supported, encouraged, uh, could be encouraged financially. Somebody could read your script and say, hey, we want to put money into this. You know, somebody could uh, right. have experienced your uh, speaking engagements and saying, we want to book you on a worldwide tour and we want to pay you, pay you handsomely for your expertise. Um, the chariot is a wonderful confirmation of how you've risen to that very powerful charioteer energy and how you will be recognized for it. Uh, the next card that's coming out for you is, da, 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 it's the justice card. And this is the card of truth. But not only that, it's the card of writing contracts. So the posse of angels can see. The wow. Contract. Can I share something with you just for two seconds? Yes, of course. With that, car- with that card? Yeah. Last night, last night I was doing some energy work on somebody. And when I was done, I had a flash of when I first divorced and my uncle who's a priest said, David, I'm going to tell you something um, that you don't want to hear that you need to wish her peace and love that she finds peace and love. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I tried it. Long story short, it, you know, I moved through that. Anyways, last night, mother Mary said, just wish her peace. Every time she comes to mind, you just wish her peace. Yeah. So every time I did that last night, I just, there's this immense like freedom. Like I'll never have to deal with that, like you said, contract ever again. <laughs> Isn't and that wonderful? This, this, yeah. Then this morning, I was contacted by her. And normally when she contacts me, I could feel like, it feels like swords in my back, like as yeah. she's approaching. It's yeah. weird. And um, right when she popped in my mind, I just wished her peace, and I never experienced those this type things in my back. Mm. I saw her. It was easy. It was graceful. And I was like, and I walked away, and I was like, wow, I just ended this relationship finally. <laughs> I was yeah. like, well, it yeah. took me a while, but, like, I know I'm a hardhead, but Lord have mercy. And you, yeah. the, the contract, you've brought it now back, the karmic contract into alignment. And the next card of yours is the world is your oyster card. That's the two of wands. And you're holding the world in your hand and you're finally able to manifest freely the life that you want. I'm so very proud of you. The angels are doing a dance. They're doing a jig and they're saying, you you scraped into tw- you know the end of 2018, and finally, finally, that uh, has been brought back into divine alignment, and so now that you can create the exact world that you want. So I'm so glad that's been helpful for you, David. God bless you. Thank you. God take- bless you guys. Okay, take care, and we'll be speaking soon. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you, Candy. You're very welcome. And that ends the show today. Thank you to my callers, my listeners. Thank you, everyone, who has supported the show in 2018 and now going into 2019. Do remember, everyone, to go out this week and fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself. And I'm wishing you love and angel blessings, as always. And I look so forward to speaking with you again next week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. 